Deflux has been a safe, effective and reliable choice for the treatment of VUR for more than 20 years with 400,000 procedures to date. Treatment is recommended to prevent additional febrile UTIs, prevent renal injury and minimise follow-up and morbidity. Deflux accomplishes all three of these goals. While technique and volume are critical to achieving successful outcomes, the material composition enables you to be confident in what you're injecting. Deflux is designed and specially formulated for use inside the body. It consists of two biocompatible polysaccharides, non-animal stabilized hyaluronic acid and dextronomer. NASHA is created through a patented process to increase viscosity and stability and has been used in more than 50 million procedures worldwide. The deflux implant is stable, remains in position and does not disappear over time. When performing an injection, it is necessary to hydrodistend each orifice. A higher grade of hydrodistension usually requires higher volumes of deflux to ensure a successful injection. Higher hydrodistended ureters have been shown to need 1.2 to 1.5 cc's, while lower grades need roughly 1 cc on average. The double hit technique is the most used and often associated with the highest level of success, approaching 93% both radiographically and clinically. When performing the deflux injection using the double hit technique, the needle is inserted into the ureter at the 6 o'clock position. Deflux is injected to produce a bulge, which is sufficient to co-apt the detrusa tunnel, while a second implant within the most distal intramural tunnel leads to co-aption of the ureteral orifice. Hydrodistension is performed to monitor treatment progress, and when it ceases to dilate the ureter, appropriate co-aption has been achieved. Since VUR often affects both ureters, 47% of the time it is bilateral, it is recommended to perform hydrodistension on both ureters even if no VUR was detected on the VCUG. The implant loses up to 20% of its volume as nasha is naturally broken down and fibroblast cells begin to migrate between dextronomer microspheres. A matrix of collagen is generated within the implant this cell infiltration allows for pseudo-encapsulation of the implant, ensuring long-term stability. Deflux, the patient-preferred first-line treatment for VUR.